Good morning YouTube. Michelle here with another Dollar Tree haul. This actually is a combination of two trips and I think there were over a hundred items total so I've tried to condense this down so this video is not an hour long. So let me start over here. First I got this really cute bag and they are so big. There's the inside. Very, very cute. I've not seen this pattern before. I also was able to finally find the Santa Belly wicker basket. A repeat purchase for our house are the uh, mini donuts. And I brought this out to show you how they're packaged. So they just come four individually wrapped packs of four. I found these really cute gift tags that I'm going to use to make a gift for one of my friends. And so she'll get the Santa belly uh, basket with the Santa hat. And then I also bought her the Bolero Vanilla Cream uh, Body Cream Facial Wipes, the soap and the bar soap and then the hand wash so all that's going to go in the basket as a christmas gift for her along with some booties that i bought for her and a few other things okay i finally found some mirrors they finally restocked mirrors at our dollar tree so I was able to pick one of those up. These are just unscented uh, long white candles. And they are they're wonderful for us here in South Dakota. When we have a blizzard and our electricity goes out, then I rely on my candles to light the house. And these are great because they're obviously contained well. They, the house is not going to permeate of 10 different scents. It's just going to throw off some light for us. So I actually bought eight of these. And I have started burning one. And they actually burn quite nicely if you let them liquefy to the edges of the glass. Then it is just burning clear down. So that is awesome. A new Campbell soup that I found is the beef barley soup. I've already eaten one of these and it's very, very tasty. I was finally able to get some washi tape. So these are all probably very old to everybody else, but to my store in Rapid City, these are new. So very, very cute with the birds and the flowers, just some stripes. Some kind of spring with the pears and whatnot. The gingham type pattern and then the dots. So I thought those were really cute. My One of my stores is finally doing the 50 cents per can on the petite diced tomatoes, the organic tomatoes. One store, they're a dollar. And one store, they're 50 cents. It does not make any sense to me, but... I went ahead and stocked up. I think I bought either three or four of the plain diced and then I think three or four of the fire roasted. I am, oh, I'm sorry. I am starting to journal. I'm going to be getting a Bible, a journaling, journaling Bible. And I'm going to use it for my girls and myself so that we can all, uh, you know, journal in it, draw pictures, whatever Bible verse is speaking to us, then we can, you know, color or write in the margins. And these are just the click pens, but as you can see, then they're ballpoint, but they all have a different um, color ink. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, the eight pack for a dollar, I thought that was pretty good. And I've seen a lot of people haul this um, ink brand and that they've liked it so I'm going to give those a try. I did not realize that these were not garland the first three times I passed them and then I realized it's a card kit and that you 
use the little uh, clothespins and you put your cards on them. Now, last year I bought what everybody is hauling this year are the uh, cardboard uh, mailboxes. And I bought one of those, it was at least last year, maybe the year before. And I bought the really big one, and that's what I put our Christmas cards in every year. But I thought this year, if there's some really cute ones, because I do have some scrapbooking friends that send me some really beautiful cards, I do want to display those. So, I got that. I have one of my twins. She has pretty bad eczema. And we're having a really hard time finding a soap for her. Um, the Method brand works pretty decent, but a lot of the dial with the um, the foaming soap I bought was a floral scent, and, and she her hands just, it looks like she's wearing a red glove on her hand. It's crazy. So I found these. They're 25% bonus, so it's a 9.375 fluid ounce versus the 7.5 fluid ounce. And it's a soothing care pH balanced with collagen. It doesn't have much of a scent, so I'm hoping and praying that these will work for um, my daughter and those will go up in their, the girls' bathroom. And this is a very odd story, but I have these, you know, uh, spray things all over my house. I have them downstairs to cover up the cat litter smell. And I usually use the fat, um, the one that smells like fabric softener down there. But as I was taking a bath the other night, I noticed that my girls have one of the, the dispensers in their bathroom on the wall. I didn't even realize it was there. It probably needs batteries, but I decided to go ahead and get the Hawaiian scent to put in their bathroom for now. I was able to get another of the Old Williamsburg Berry Trifle. I have to say, this, this candle has me impressed. And I don't get impressed by candles easily. This has got such an amazing throw to it. Um, long story short, I had, burnt, I had started one of the white candles in the living room. And to explain, my house is four, five stories, if you include the basement. And this candle was on one story below my bedroom. This candle was going two levels below my bedroom. When I went to bed, I had reminded my husband to blow his candle out that was on his desk, which was this one. And that I would blow the white one out. He forgot. So I was in bed and I just kept smelling this great, this amazing, non-organic bedroom smell. I guess that's a very odd way to put it, but you know what I mean. When, when the smell just wafts through the house, I'm not kidding you. This candle was still going downstairs and I was able to smell it in bed. And know that my husband didn't burn it out and I had to go downstairs and, and blow it out. So this has got such an amazing throw to it. I found some more uh, lip balms I'm going to put in Christmas stockings. This time I found the Dory. I wonder, I didn't even look to see if these are flavored. Fruit Punch scented and Bubblegum scented are what these two are all right moving on these are some of my favorite socks for the winter they're extremely soft extremely cozy i mean when it says super soft they're not lying people fits sizes five to nine for kids but i wear a size seven in women's and these fit me perfectly fine and this one actually doesn't have any of the grippers on the bottom, but that's okay because I can wear them and then put my little uh, toeless slippers on and I'll be fine. I found this hot red wet and wild lipstick. I found this 
really cute little cat toy. They have for Christmas these um, Hershey's Kisses Deluxe Hazelnuts. So I, yeah, three, there's only three in there for a dollar. So it's not the greatest value, but to go in a stocking or as a little gift, you know, it's pretty cute. Of course, the favorite reds, watermelon, cherry, strawberry, and fruit punch. This is the three and a half ounce movie theater box. I suggest if you have teenagers or even if you and your husband or, or your better half like to go to the movies, go to the Dollar Tree or even Target and buy their these candies and just slip them in your purse because I guarantee they're at least $4 a box at the movie theater. Then I found the Frosty Nerds Watermelon Cherry and Punch. I finally, finally, finally found for my husband, even though he does not need playing cards, but these are the collectible embossed tins. And this one is just, uh, it's Kylo Ren. And I got two of these. I got one for my husband and one for my nephew. And then that's what it looks like. And then there are the, the cards, what they look like. So if I find more of these, because I know there's different... Um, different tin, tins, you know, different people, then I will definitely be picking those up. Goodness gracious, I am not so great with my hands today. Biotin. With my surgery coming up, I my stores ran out of these and I was going crazy because they're so good. So I decided to stock up. There's only uh, 12 gummies. And you're supposed to take two per day. So this lasts six days. So I, yeah, I went a little bit crazy. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so I bought seven. So, yeah, that should be enough for a little while, hopefully. And then I found these. They have suction cups. This is the 12 count, but they come in different sizes. So you can fit. You know, if they're for lights or for um, just hanging your wall art, like what I got here, this Believe in the Magic magic of Christmas. This is the only one I've bought so far, and it's the only one I plan on buying. But these little suction cups will come in great to hang that on the front door. I got these for my husband for his candy dish at work. These are for, they're shot cups, but they're for after my surgery. And I'll be having to drink one of these shot cups every 15 minutes so that I stay hydrated. So I just bought a bunch so that they could just be rinsed out and reused. I did find this adorable sign. All is calm. All is bright. And it... It's actually pretty heavy. I was pretty impressed with the quality of it. It's not popping up anywhere. It's got a nice twine to hang it. So yeah, I thought that was really, really cute. Again, not the best buy, but hey, the Russell Stover's chocolates. And it's a two ounce. And they are proudly made in America. I did buy another one of these because I think it, it is so cute with the truck on it. I did find, we like popcorn in this house. And I don't know why I just turned that around. But they're popcorn bags. So they're 5.25 inch by 3.25 by 10 inches tall. So they're pretty big, which is great for teenagers. To make my gift for my friend in the Santa belly basket. I bought this. It's got two bags, cell bags for, you know, to turn it into a real cute gift. I was in the mood for M&Ms, even though I didn't eat any. I bought them so the girls can just stick these in their lunch boxes. Do not ask me why I bought this other than I am a stationary addict and 
One day I will show you the box that I have of all the notepads that I buy from the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Spot. But I love owls. I love the print. I love the colors. It's kind of a plastic file folder by Jot. And then there's the inside. So, of course, it's pink, which is great. And it's the same on the back. I did find some very cute clear stamps. Um, my oldest daughter, she loves anything sweets, especially cupcakes. So I thought this would be really cute to make her a birthday card. I did find some stickers. Y'all have got me buying these dang stickers now. I mean, seriously. And look how good they match. I just noticed that. Um, anyway, I'm going to be doing the Fobonichi. I'm going to start that. Uh, I'm actually making myself a planner that I can use to remember my appointments. Because there's going to be a lot of them with the surgeon. I found these real cute foil pink and purple and lavender. And... I don't know if you guys remember, but my husband was active duty Air Force for 24 years. And some of these are kind of corny, like these these little guys. I'm sorry for the glare. This, this little dude, I mean, it's kind of weird, but um, I thought the planes were pretty cool. And, um, you know, the Air Force, the pay grades, etc. So... I got this to go with his uh, Air Force album. I actually bought an album that has the Air Force emblem on it. And, uh, yeah. Once again, stationary addict. Thought it was cute. Don't know what I'm going to use it for. Maybe I'll use this and put my new pens for my journaling in there. That is a cute idea. Yeah. Um... My daughter has a birthday coming up for one of her friends, so she wanted a card. And then, of course, can't go wrong with the X-Pack Ultimate Mailers from Dollar Tree. I guarantee this is probably at least two bucks at Walmart. I love that it says handle with care. I love that it's moisture resistant. I love that it's got its own sticky little thing right here, which, I mean, I don't know any that don't nowadays. And I'm a weirdo, and once I, you know, close it, I always put decorative duct tape or packing tape over the back just to make it look a little bit more special. So, okay, guys, that's the condensed version of what I've gotten this week at Dollar Tree. I will... If you want to see what I bought for my planner from Michaels, um, I did do a decent Michaels haul. And I'm looking at getting my uh, journaling Bible. So, the washi tape that I got, hopefully that will come in handy. And I've already got everything else I need because I've been scrapbooking for about 12 years. So, everything else, the washi tape is the only thing that's really new to me. So, anyway, okay, I'm, bla I'm, I'm babbling. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day or night, wherever you may be. Uh, remember to uh, be thankful this holiday season. And in November, starting November, I try every day to remind not remind myself, but tell myself of something that I, I'm thankful for specifically that day. And then I try to write it down. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a blessed day. And I will see you on the next haul. Bye!